Hi, sweeties! I don't know if you've noticed, <laughs> but I've changed my hair color again. Seriously, when am I gonna stop? Never. <laughs> so I just basically made my hair a lighter shade of pink. I actually think that's the lightest I've ever managed to get my hair. And I know it can be quite high to dye your hair a very light color, especially if your natural hair is dark. My natural hair is basically the same color as my eyebrows, so pretty dark and hard to get it, this color. <laughs> so I made a little list of do's and don'ts when dyeing your hair a non-natural light color, like pastel pink, baby blue, mint green, lavender, all these lovely beautiful colors that are so hard to get and that destroy your hair. <laughs> so just quickly before we move on to the list, please subscribe because I post new videos three times a week and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. Amen. <laughs> Some of these things I'm gonna say today might sound a little bit obvious to you if you're already used to dyeing your hair, crazy colors and stuff. And some of the things are not as obvious. So watch it anyway, don't get discouraged if I say something obvious at first. <laughs> so first things first, don't try to dye your hair a pastel color if it's not light enough. That's one of the obvious ones I said before. So, to dye your hair any unnatural color, like red, pink, green, blue, you need to bleach your hair first, unless you're naturally blonde. But with light pastel colors, it has to be practically white for it to work. So if you manage to bleach your hair to this color, go ahead and apply the hair dye. But if you bleached your hair and it came out like this, you have to bleach again because you're never gonna get a pastel color if you apply the hair dye on top of orange. <laughs> if you have dark hair but you decided that's what you want for your life, you need pastel hair and that's that and you're gonna carry on with the bleaching, please don't bleach your hair three times on the same day because it's gonna break, it's gonna damage your hair or it's not gonna be good. Trust me. So bleach it once, then wait another couple of weeks, apply some hair masks and stuff, and then go and bleach again. I know it's a pain in the bum having to wait with your hair kind of like sausage color, but you're gonna have to do that if you want to have healthy pastel hair. It literally took me years to get my hair this light because I used to dye my hair black with permanent hair dye so it really took a long time for me to get rid of all the pigment. Next thing on my list, do tone your hair after bleaching. Sometimes even if you manage to bleach your hair and get a very light color, there might still be a little bit of yellow or orange pigment on your hair like this. And any color you have on your hair is basically gonna be added to the hair dye you apply. It's basically like painting. So if you apply pastel blue hair dye on yellow hair, you're gonna get green. <laughs> For obvious reasons, if you mix blue and yellow, you get green. So if you put pastel pink on yellow, it gets orangey and so on. <laughs> so what you have to do is get rid of that little pigment on your hair before you actually apply the hair dye. So I'm gonna put a little color wheel here. Ha! And that basically explains how to cancel unwanted pigments on your hair. So if you have yellow, you can use a blue toner. If you have orange, you can use a purple toner because that's basically the opposite color that is gonna neutralize the color you already have. In my case, after bleaching my hair, I still had some yellowy slash orangey tones. So I used a purple shampoo with some pigment and then a purple toning conditioner. So I got rid of that yellow stuff because I didn't want my hair to look peach instead of pastel pink. But keep in mind that your hair needs to be light for the toner to work as well. So if you bleach your hair and it's still like this, like I showed before, you're gonna have to bleach more. Don't just put toner on top of that because it's not gonna work. Next 
thing very important that I've done wrong myself before. You can buy pastel hair dye that is already mixed and everything, or you can buy a darker hair dye and mix it with conditioner until it gets light. The effect is the same, I don't think the hair dye looks any better than the hair dye mixed with conditioner and it's obviously cheaper to mix it with conditioner because you just get one tube of hair dye and it lasts you months. But you need to be very careful when you mix it. So don't mix too much hair dye with the conditioner. Because if you think, oh, I'm gonna put one part of hair dye for one part of conditioner and it's dark blue, it's gonna be too dark. <laughs> That's not the way to do it. You need to literally put a little bit of hair dye and mix and see what color you get and then slowly add more. Because that color that you're seeing there on the pot is the color you're gonna get. It doesn't work like permanent hair dye that it kind of develops after a few minutes. So once you put it on your hair, it's not gonna change color slowly. Your hair is gonna be exactly the same color as what you're seeing. So if that looks too dark and not pastel, that's not right. <laughs> I've personally done that a few times. I thought, oh, I'm just gonna put a little bit more. It doesn't look like it's enough hair dye. And then I ended up with neon hair. Next thing I'm gonna say is gonna sound a little bit silly and obvious, but you'd be surprised with how many people I've heard saying this same thing that is so wrong. Some people think that if you put any pink on your hair, bright pink, dark pink, and you just leave it for five minutes instead of half an hour or one hour, you're gonna get pastel hair because they think it's not gonna have time enough to develop so mm, I'm gonna just leave it on a little bit and it's just gonna be a little bit pink no that's not how it works <laughs> because as I said before it's semi-permanent hair dye it doesn't develop as soon as you put a dark pink on your blonde recently bleached hair your hair is just gonna suck in all that hair dye and it's gonna be dark pink it doesn't matter if you leave it on for one minute it's gonna be pink <laughs> so please don't dye your hair a dark color th and leave just five minutes thinking it's gonna get pastel. And last but not least, don't wash your hair too often. <laughs> I know, right? You're gonna think I'm so disgusting. But it's a fact. If you wash your hair every day and you have pastel hair, you're gonna have to redye your hair every week because there's so little pigment there that it's gonna get blonde again really quick, really easily. You know, use some dry shampoo, try not to wash it as much because it's gonna be a lot of maintenance. Another thing you can do is put some hair dye on your conditioner because then every time you wash your hair you're adding a little bit more pigment. It's gonna fade anyway eventually but I think maybe it's gonna take a little bit longer like this. Just a little bit though. <laughs> That's all I could think of. Let me know in the comments if you have any more do's and don'ts for pastel hair. I really hope it was helpful and I hope you liked my new hair. Ooh. I'm really happy with it. I always wanted it to be this light. If you want, please follow me on social media. I'm always posting news and exciting stuff there. Also, watch some of my previous videos. They're gonna appear on the screen. And thank you so much for watching. And have a very, very lovely day. Mwah!